Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiterter, consultant audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. And in this case, we have a patient who attended with a matted ball of hair very deep in their ear and it resembled a bird's nest and you'll see it um, as the video progresses. But in, it, in advance of that, we have all this dead skin, um, crusted skin that's lining the ear canal. So it's skin that technically sheds, so it's desquamous skin, but it hasn't fully come away from the canal wall. And as the skin um, sheds, it should detach itself from neighboring skin cells. But here you can see all these individual skin cells are still interconnected. And so we're going to remove that skin. Um, you can begin to see some of those hairs that I was making reference to earlier. And when you've got so much hair like this, no doubt this patient has either been trimming the ear hairs or um, with an electric shaver or uh, even with some scissors. And I also suspect they have been poking in the ears because it's so deep and it's compressed. So I can see this skin and it's, I can see the tail end of it. It's extending right near to the entrance, just past the first bend. And what I'm trying to do is detach this, because if I can remove this, then it will make removing the rest of the dead skin far easier. So that's that nest of hairs that you can see. So again, I'm just concentrating on this part here. And it is really a did to the, the base of the ear canal. So there we are, I've just managed to separate that. And I think I'm going to use some forceps in a moment as well, which worked really, really well. You can just see how wrinkly this skin is. It's made the surface of the canal quite rough. And one of the symptoms the patient was and complaining of was really dry, itchy ears. And you can see why. So they're quite deep in the ear now, we're running the latter two thirds and the, the, the inner two, um, the third of the ear canal is called the pars interna. The midsection, the middle third is called pars media and the outer third where the cartilage is, is called the pars externa. And whenever we approach the inner two thirds, we're just gonna be a bit more careful. Many of you have been watching my channel for many, many years, I know, but anyone new to the channel, the inner two thirds of the ear canal is made up of bone whereas the outer third of the ear canal is made up of cartilage. In addition, the skin that lines the cartilage is approximately one millimetres in thickness, and it has three layers of skin. You've got the epidermis, the dermis, and you've also got the adipose or hypodermis layer, where there's a, um, a layer of fatty tissue, whereas the skin that lines the bony part of the ear canal is um, less than 0.1 millimetres in thickness, and it only has the outermost layer of skin, the epidermis. And as a result, the inner two thirds of the ear canal is extremely sensitive if you make contact with it. So slowly bring this forwards. It's got quite a bendy ear here. That second bend's just to the left. I think we were getting some clarinetting there, but fortunately that skin came away. So clarinetting is when you suction sometimes really dry skin like this, the skin starts to vibrate violently at the tip of the sucker and it emits a very loud high frequency squeal, which is not only deafening for the patient, it's also quite no um, deafening for the, the clinician. See that this is this ball of hair. I don't know, when I'm looking at that, it does make the hairs at the back of my neck stand up. So eardrums nice and healthy. They have got this layer of skin at the base. I'm going to peel this away and I'm going to use the forceps, but I did stop near the end, just because there's a bit of blistering. So uh, I decided to leave the remainder. So you can see where I'm beginning to peel it from now. It's strongly adhered and it's already quite red and we're not really been pulling at it. But you can see the blood vessels are dilating underneath. I did manage to tear some of this off. With some forceps, but again, we're going to be really careful here. Just don't want to make any contact with the canal wall. So you can see the bottom jaw is quite close to the back part of the ear canal. I think I just left it as that. Um, maybe we'll just see. 
because you can see it. Don't want to make you uncomfortable for the patient. And that skin now, hopefully, because the skin in front of it has been removed, hopefully it'll migrate a bit better and away. So, again, anyone new to the channel, the entire ear canal and the outermost layer of the eardrum, so the eardrum is three ply thick, it has three layers, it's actually lined with skin. And that um, the skin, as it dies and sheds, it should naturally migrate sideways, laterally out of the ear in a conveyor belt motion. And as the skin naturally migrates and sheds and expels itself from the ear, any surface wax, any wax sitting on the surface of the, the skin is also naturally transported. But in some cases, the skin, it just fails to migrate. It's, it begins to shed, but it doesn't separate, as I mentioned in the first ear, into the individual skin cells. So it's still interconnected. And you get a buildup of skin, and that can then envelope a plug of wax, and because that skin is still semi adhered to the canal wall, and it's also attached to the wax plug, it can make the wax plug very hard to remove. So I'm just using the forceps. I've managed to peel all the peripheral skin, which should hopefully then make the removal of that bird's nest far simpler. We shall see. I think we're going to use the forceps again. I've got the jaws at three and nine o'clock. So there is a bit of wax there as well, but it's predominantly hairs. And I've just about got the sufficient grip to pull this away. It's just a bit left at the top, so we'll remove that. But I can already see the eardrum in the distance. It looks nice and healthy. So I've advised the patient when they are trimming their hairs just to place some cotton wool just at the entrance of the ear canal so to prevent it from flying into the ear and also to avoid poking inside. But other than that, it looks really healthy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well and speak soon. Bye.